Hello, what's going on and welcome back to the RTG and in this episode today we do have our elite rivals grind with the packs at the ends. We've had one of our players that we've purchased literally skyrocket to the moon and I'm not sure what I want to do in terms of keeping or selling right now but let's jump into this one. We've got a lot going on. Enjoy. We need to talk. Bruno Guimaraes. The purchase price was 314 and on the market right now his value is over 900. 900,000 coins. That is the best pending trade that we've made so far on the RTG. And the reason I say that is I'm getting scared. I don't want to lose out on this money, but I also don't want to lose Bruno Guimaraes from my team. But I like the profit as well. And I'm thinking we could use the money that we have added with the sale and put it into an incredible attacker and try and find a Bruno Guimaraes replacement. But for now, I'm not sure what I want to do. I think he's going to go up even more. I, I do believe that Brazil will beat Croatia. So at this moment in time, I'm not going to rush any decision. But Bruno, what a dynamic image. Beautiful. But there's a player that I want to buy right now in the market. So let's go and pick him up. I think I'm going to be buying Buffal. The reason why he's just been given an upgrade and he's so cheap. And I was thinking because of his dribbling, a little bit of physical... We can start him as a left mid for chemistry, and he's from Ligue 1, and his finishing, I think, is going to be fine, and the passing as well. Really cool. Shame that he doesn't have outside the foot, but flair, finesse shot, I think for the price, you can't go wrong. Welcome to the RTG. 40,750. Yesterday, we had a wonderful session. We didn't take a single L in the Elite Division. We won like two or three games, and we drew two, smashed out a draft. We were feeling great. So we've made a couple of changes to our starting 11. Edison's been brought in for chemistry to Bruno and Kevin De Bruyne. And Buffal's been purchased for 40,000 and he looks insane. And Bruno, upgrade 89. Let's go and test him out. Cow the Dragon? Cow the Dragon, the guy who's from TikTok? He's shutting down that midfield. This guy is decent. JJ. Buffal. Debut goal. That's what I'm talking about. Zambrotta with the delivery. And they head it on. This is just wonderful. Uh, you've got to pass it to him. When the chance presents itself and with it. Yo. What the hell? I bottled that. Oh, <laughs> for Christ's sake. Yo, GG. I thought he would be able to like take that touch a little bit faster, to be honest. Because he was in a good good space. That is all. That was nearly awesome. I think that's a great idea. Buffal! What foot is he? I never even bothered checking. That's what that's what Zambrotta can do. Just run up. <laughs> Oi! Oh, we bring him off the bench. I think this Buffal. And again, Buffal! Finally, the regular goal that he scores. He's had about, uh, yeah, a few chances. He's had a few chances. FC Hamdi. Okay. Loris. Carlos Alberto is quite a nice one. Hey, Shumani, did he get upgraded? He's looking pretty nice now. 86 overall. That's it, Akocha. Oh, I got stuck. His quarterback has been playing well. Nice, Maldini. Right, let's go. Come on, Buffon. And then over the top to him, Kevin. Well done. What a pass. That is such a nice release. And then through ball right into his path. And oh dear. Maldini versus Butcher. <laughs> oh, Maldini. 
Yo, we need an Italian manager. We need to change the stadium, boys. I can't believe this. This this feels like a new Pat Paul right now. Feels like I've got lucky all over again with this Maldini. That's what happens when I first go and pack an icon or something. I never usually like love them unless they're just that good. But they always grow on me. Oh. Go on, Buffal. I mean, he's got a lot of shot power. Uh, I shouldn't have turned back. I should actually try to force it up. Yes. Oh, Buffo. <laughs> oh, Buffo, come on, man. That was nearly it, though. Should have made subs. It's Jalzinho time? Yeah, true. It's Jalzinho time? I think it's Buffo time. He's won us the game. I did say that if he gets a hat trick, he stay. Well, he's only got two. But Buffal, as good as he was on the ball, I don't think that he is really the man for us to be used as a striker, especially not on one chemistry. So I don't want to be too harsh on him. He does seem like he could make a good winger. But as a striker, yeah, off chem, it's just not it. But rank one in the elite division. And we've basically just been smashing out rivals. Now I've got like a good enough skill rating. I'm coming up against some competitive players. So it's good practice, you know. But in terms of like everything else that's been happening, we're just waiting until Friday for Foot Champions as well as the new promo. I think it's uh, Phenoms, World Cup Phenoms. So we should get some unreal players. I think Bellingham's been leaked as well. So yeah, he should make a real, real good card. But Jumbo and 50k pack tradable, I think that's the move. Let's lock it in. I thought this pick was going to be different because we don't have any games going on because of the World Cup. But Team of the Week 9 to Curran, 1 of 5. Don't get your hopes up. It only disappoints. Oh, no. Do you know what? Oh, I'm not joking. This guy I used off chemistry in the draft. And for whatever reason, he feels so much faster than his stats. 76 pace was an actual lie. And defensively, he was really, really good. So if he were to receive a promo card, keep an eye out for him. I'm not joking. If they go and give him like 88 pace or something, he's going to be quite ridiculous. Like, Look at his in-game stats defensively 92 stand tackle no wonder he was good actually 92 stand tackle 86 interceptions with good strength now for real like ea give him a promo card of some sort i'm sure you can find something to give the man and he's going to be unbelievable but moisey keen for 86 overall i think it's got to be done moisey 86 skill rating update 572 and an idea that i had just a little goal to set myself to work towards was to try and reach 700 and i know it's not going to be easy and if we were to reach that we're just going to be facing up against pro players but it's good practice and it means that we have something to work towards and achieve so 572 good start to the week and i have noticed that ever since i improved the defense and i know some of you will think there's a lot of money spending on fullbacks or just defenders in general it has really helped just blew my defense together and i have played at a better level than i usually do and the midfield is also stacked but like i say with bruno Guimaraes, is he easily replaced i think we could find someone as good as him but because of the live card and the fact that he has so many upgrades to come or the potential upgrades and right now with the way he plays for me as this lone cdm he is 
pretty ridiculous. I think that he is one of the best cards that I've used, and I'm not trying to up his price. I'm not trying to be biased. He just really does feel secure in the tackle and the way he positions himself just before my opponents are catching me on the break. But anyway, enough of Bruno Guimaraes. It's time for 200,000. We need money right now from the elite division. Otherwise, I don't know who I want to buy at striker. Who last year 85? That's basically what 10, 15,000. I'm not sure who we're going to go for if we don't have the funds. Oh, that's not bad, though. 285s. I mean, I'm going to take that. The rest of it, did I have dupes? No, I don't think so. Zakaria. Funny that he pops up because he does have the Path to Glory version himself. And I tried him on my other account. He's like 200,000 or so. 270. I think he's actually thinking of it. I think he's about 300k. So he's not cheap, but he does feel pretty good. Another player that I had used... Brozovic, but this was before the upgrade. Maybe Brozovic is the real deal with his dribbling, passing, similar to Bruno, but just less physical. Hmm, maybe Brozovic, but that's if we sell Bruno. But jumbo rare players, this has to hit. Come on, it's got to be big. Otherwise, yes, walk out. Come on, just 200k, 200k. German goalkeeper, Senemir, Tony Cruz. Uh, that will sell for a little bit, though. That's what, 30,000, 40,000? Not bad. At least it's coins. You know, we worked hard grinding this. At least it's coins. He sells for 30, yeah, 30,000. Anything else, all of that stuff, I think I will just get rid of. Ronald, or good man, Ronald on the end. Well, I mean, in terms of like elite rewards, they weren't elite, but they're due. So I'll sell everything and I'll see how many coins we have at the end of it. But thank you very much for watching, boys. Uh, tomorrow we should be back. And then on Friday, we'll have a Foot Champ speed run, and we've got all the new cards that are going to get dropped on the game. So maybe we'll look to bring in one or two of those. Or before we start our weekend league, we can go and use um, yeah, a brand new striker from the promo if they're going to be like 600k. I don't know how much money we're going to have. So I'll clear out the club, and I'll see you soon. Take care, boys. Peace.